Hello, my name is Charles Pra. I work at White Labs as a yeast and brewing application scientist, and today I will tell you a little bit about the White Labs Firm Flask. The Firm Flask was designed several years ago to allow the brewers to harvest, store, and reuse their yeast slurry from one batch to the next. I will explain a few of the basic features of the Firm Flask in the following video. Once the firm flask is hooked up to the fermenter, you simply place it on a scale to indicate the fill level without having to open the unit. You open the valve on the bottom of your tank, reset your scale, open the valve on the firm flask, allowing the yeast to slowly fill the firm flask. Starting from the bottom, the firm flask is equipped with a full one inch bore size ball valve in stainless steel that is tri-clamped onto a racking arm that can be rotated in any angle. Up here in the middle of the unit you have the temperature probe with a long probe reaching all the way into the center of the yeast pack. And then on top you have all the main features of the firm flask. The lid of the firm flask is equipped with a stirring arm reaching into the yeast slurry, a pressure gauge reading the head pressure of the vessel, two ball valves, one with a hose barb facing down into the firm flask, and a pressure release valve. The pressure release valve is adjustable between 0 and 15 psi and is uh, used for the different functions of the firm flask. I'm going to go through how you harvest, store, and repitch using the firm flask. First, you need a completely clean firm flask. The firm flask is taken apart and cleaned manually, and you can do a caustic soak in a rinse followed by a steam or liquid sanitation step. You hook up the firm flask to the bottom of your fermenter through a tube after you bleed off the dead yeast and the troop from the bottom of your cone. Once the firm flask is hooked up to the fermenter, you simply place it on a scale to indicate the fill level without having to open the unit. You open the valve on the bottom of your tank, reset your scale, open the valve on the firm flask, allowing the yeast to slowly fill the firm flask. To allow the yeast to enter the firm flask, you need to displace the headspace air volume, which you do by opening one of the ball valves on top. When the firm flask is full, you simply shut off the valve, dismantle the hose, spray with alcohol or another sanitizer, and put a blank cap on the inlet. On the top of the lid, you close the ball valve and make sure that the pressure release valve is set to uh, between 1 and 3 psi, so very low to avoid gas buildup in the yeasts. Once you place the firm flask in the cold room, make sure to monitor the core temperature of your yeast pack to make sure that it maintains about 3 degrees Celsius or slightly cooler than normal refrigerator temperature. Now I'm going to go over how to pitch using the firm flask. Again, you bring it out of the cold room probably 24 hours prior to pitch and monitor that the temperature in the yeast is reaching the temperature of your wort that you are going to pitch. This can take normal, normally um, 24 to 36 hours. On top, the first thing you have to do after hooking it up to the bottom of your tank is to make sure that the pressure release valve is adjusted clockwise by using an Allen key. You want to make sure that you are able to put approximately 10 psi of head pressure on the top lid to force the yeast back into the fermenter. One of the ball valves has a down-facing hose barb. This hose barb is for feeding the yeast while storing and it's not used for pitching the yeast. The other one is your gas inlet where you take any gas, it can be air or CO2 or even nitrogen. Make sure you have a little sterile disc filter on the line 
before you purge the tank. Once you have pressure hooked up to the vessel, open the ball valve slowly and see the pressure rise uh, indicated by the pressure gauge. Once you maintain about 10 PSI, slowly open the bottom outlet valve of the firm flask, the bottom of your fermenter as well, and let the yeast slowly go into the tank. It is recommended to run pretty slow. It should take roughly five minutes to empty the whole firm flask into a fermenter. Use a scale to make sure that you can gauge the volume inside the keg now that you don't have the option of opening and visually seeing how much is in there. After all yeast has been pitched in, or as much as you want to pitch into your fermenter, simply close the valve on both tank and firm flask and either put it back for storage or clean it up manually before the yeast starts to coagulate and get cakey on the inside. 